Well, main empire buddy, this is Rampain, and welcome back to my Seleucid Empire campaign for Rome Remastered, where we're beginning the beginning of the end of this campaign, where right now we are about to start our war f proper for Italy. Uh, I'm now going to try and start seeing, can all of these forces start moving out and begin yes, advancing into Italy? It's like you guys, yes you can! So I'm going to move you up here, uh, they're actually going to want to fight that, so give me one moment. I'm just trying to get everything prepared. Let's get everybody in position. Uh, my faction heir is now really old. Uh, hopefully he'll survive long enough. But I'll start moving all of you guys forward. As all of these areas should be happy enough. That uh, So you're actually going to be sent via ship. Okay, so you're good. Get in there. Okay, so every single one of these cities is happy. Um, I now need to see... Oh, here they are. So you first need to tell the Julii to fuck right off, get out of the way, and then I can bring you guys up here. So what I'll do is I'll drop these guys off, they'll be trying to attack Tarentum and Croton. I'll be having you guys, I don't think you can move out of here yet. So I don't think we'd advance as much as I would like just yet in from Africa. Nope, I can't. But at least we can kind of start pushing in to southern Italy and northern Italy. So we'll start there at least. Because I don't think you can move out either. Mm, no, even if I lower the taxes, you're still at 60%. Not enough. It's close, but not enough. So we'll still have to get a couple more guys here. We're still also trying to build up all of my peasant armies that I was trying to make. Uh, oh my god, I've got almost another one here. So, let's see, see you guys here. Send some more guys into Memphis to be retrained. Because I've at least got two. You're making your way down here, you need to be retrained, and then I'll have at least one of the armies ready here. And then this is the second one. So we've got two of the eight. This is almost a third. And then I think I almost have another, yeah, there's another guy up here, almost a fourth one. Let's see, you need three guys. So grab those three. And then again, I'm just gonna bring them down here. So that'll be the fourth. But keep gathering them together in Antioch. It's probably the easiest way for me to make sure that they're all in one spot. I think there's actually more than I've got space for right now. You guys, you need three more as well. Which I've got three right here. There we go. Okay, so that'll be the fifth that we'll need. So, you keep making your way down here. I think actually what I'll be doing is... Okay, you guys have had that plague stop now. So, I'm going to have you start recruiting a bunch of peasants. Same with Alexandria. You'll focus on peasants. And then I've got at least two pairs of the onagers ready. So I need at least six more. And then those will all be ready. The other settlements that I need to get prepared for the assault are... At least I'm trying to make sure over here. I want armored elephants before this campaign is done. Because the peasants cannot take Rome. Or should, or should I do this? Seven armies of peasants... And then I commanded army of elephants. So I have all the peasants being controlled by the AI. Throw them at the walls. And the AI see what happens there. And then technically if they fail, that's when I send in the armored elephants to mop everything up. I could do that. I could try and do that. Because we might. Because I know I want to have a bunch of armored elephants also trying to help out in that war. But... I also want to have like maybe eight, yeah, eight armies of... I still think I want to try and have eight armies of peasants trying first. Try that first, just throw them at them. It's a horrible waste of life, but hey, it'll be interesting to see. Because, let's see, that's going to be about... Roughly, we'll say 5,000 guys almost per army, actually. So uh, that's going to be about sending about almost 40,000 men <laughs> at Rome to try and have them take it. They are peasants... But they are well-built peasants. Uh, let's see. I think that's all I have for units, though, to move forward. So we're still going to check and see if I can build anything. Oh, I actually can get something here at Bostra. So Bostra's already got their stone walls. Let me get uh, let's see, their dockyard, temple, aqueduct. Kind of queue up all these buildings, we'll say, here for more economic stuff. Because right now we're doing fine on military buildings around here. So we need to focus on our economy a little bit more. You guys can't do anything. 
Athens. Uh, get the better Agora. But the you get her. You get the, oh my god. Get the better Agora and then the temple and then everything else. Cue those up. Cavascate can't do anything. You guys can't do anything still. Nepte can't do anything still. Okay. Because what I'm expecting to kind of happen today. Oh, you have an army that, yeah, I was trying to. Oh, let me not forget about that. Today, I think what we'll be able to easily do is say, hey, we are starting the war for Italy, and it will be in the next video, which should be the final video, is when we take Rome and finish the campaign. That's what should happen. That's kind of what I'm expecting to happen. We'll start the war, get it out in proper, but it will take until the next video to properly finish it off, because I need to make sure that all of my peasant armies are built up, Ah, good, you guys are attacking me here. So, uh, and I also have to probably deal with you guys while I'm uh, at it. So, you guys, I've uh, got a decent amount of my pikes. I think, as long as you guys just have one ram, I can just defend the gates themselves. Because my unit quality is high enough, I think we can hold. Just like we held at that one fort to the north of here. So, that's what we're going to try and do. As well, as long as they don't open the gates and they only have the one ram. If they have just the one ram, we should be good. Because they do have the two archers, they could use two rams. Because they'll have to pull back to the city center and try and hold there instead. Oh, let's see. Oh no, these are also stone walls, so they have to have only one ram. Unless they decide to have ladders or anything else like that. Bend your backs to your tasks, and all will be well! You know, we should actually be pretty good here, since we have stone walls. They do have some ladders. Uh, that kind of concerns me, but they are archers. What I'll do... The, the ram should actually burn. What I'm gonna do... I have so little money. I'm gonna try and have you guys down here. Oh, come on. I'm gonna have to adjust you after the fact, aren't I? Probably. You guys there. I'm gonna have everybody else up here, honestly. Because at the moment... The, the ram is probably going to burn. I'm probably going to have to defend the ladders, and so what I'll do is you guys first try and be up here. They are a bunch of archers, so I think you'll be able to hold them back. You guys. Come on. Come on. There we go. That's what I want to see. Right there. So you guys are going to try and hold this position, and I'll see what you can do, because you're my... My units are the most amount of men. And if they actually do get through the gates, you're going to be... Oh, didn't mean to pause it. You're going to be the one that I'm relying on. Right here? Uh... Because I'm expecting this to burn. It usually does. Yep, see? Okay, that burned. And if that's the case, then what I'm actually going to be doing then is... I'm going to put you guys here then. In case they try and run down the tower. Because I hope that you guys can kill them up here yourselves and I don't need you to worry. Because they are just an archer unit, so you should have better sass than them. Uh, nope. Okay, this is what I was kind of worrying might happen. Okay, so please go down this tower. <laughs> this tower right here. Don't try and run down the other one, otherwise I'm fucked. I can't let you guys take the gates, though. So that's kind of what I'm hoping, is that you'll go down this one, not actually try and take the gates. Come on, yep, you're just about to kill everybody else I've got up there. The walls are no longer uh, out. shit. Taking them. I'm dead. Your general's nerve is broken and he is fleeing from the enemy. I was hoping that where the where they fucking go? They already run back to the city center. Now nope, here they come to kill me. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. Well, guess I have to reclaim the city, because there is no way I can win this now. Ah, uh, I was hoping they technically were going to go down the gatehouse first and not open the gates. Damn it. Never try and hold walls with pikemen. Never try and hold walls with pikemen. This is why I was gathering some forces together, though. I should be able to gather some guys together, reclaim that city. I can take Gotay's back. I can take it back. Because I've already got some guys ready here. Uh, where'd that... Oh, yeah, he died.
Okay, uh, you guys make your way over here. Start trying to gather together with these guys. I want to tell you... Okay, you guys siege it, but you're gonna sit there. You're just gonna sit there doing nothing, and then I am going to wait for reinforcements! They attack us, they attack us, but I'm gonna try and have it so you guys will group up. You have any mercenaries. There is at least a mercenary unit. Grab him. I'll gather everybody else together with you. So these guys, you, oh, this city's pissed. Uh, lower the taxes, they'll be fine. Keep getting some more chariots, same with you. I'm gonna have you keep getting us more infantry to send over this way. Should be enough to be able to easily take the settlement back. Then we can secure that front once again. Okay, you guys are still gathering together. Let's see. Let's, uh, we can use a couple more. Yes, Stratigos. There's four here, there's 12 here, there's 16, 17, and then 18. So that's another army, technically. Okay. Let's see. You guys. There's 11 of you. So there's five here. Grab those. And then you could use two more. Okay. So it'll be these guys, and then I'll have it so that I will give you the honor goes. Okay. And then let's see. We should be able to start pushing up with everybody else. You guys now have a ceasefire. Oh, congratulations! Doesn't mean like you're gonna do really do much with it, but uh, let's see, Nico Media, you've got a new general. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna send you up this way. <laughs> I'm expecting there to be problems, so I'm gonna send you up there just in case. Okay, so let's see. So first, there we go. First navy to be dropped off in Italy. Let's have you go for Croton. So you can drop off, begin sieging Croton. There you go. Oh, I forgot to attack this guy up here. Damn it. Okay. Uh, you come up. Come up this way. And I'll grab that other army. I will start advancing forward. Do get a watchtower here so I better line of sight of what's going on. If you're not going to attack me, I'm going to attack the tap. So we'll start that siege up there. You can start the siege up here. There you go. Go, go, go. So those are all sieged. And then Carthage. Uh, I wish you guys would have had a section like that, but no, you don't. Okay, but I think we can get this in into this assault right now. So let's take Carthage from this the Scipii. And then we'll have all of Africa under our control. And then we can need to start trying to push into Sicily itself. And then I'm just gonna... These areas, I'm hoping they'll kind of be a little bit happier when I try and leave. Or at least they'll kind of get a little bit better. Because I don't want to have to try and leave massive garrisons over in these areas as I try and expand into Rome. Really don't want to waste all my money on that. Because that's the one thing that I could easily see slowing us down in our advance into Italy. Is how are these settlements going to react with us conquering them? Because we've got a lot of uh, the wonders that are kind of helping, but cannon. not enough where every city just loves me immediately as soon as I conquer them and exterminate most of their populace. Uh, but no, let's have you guys get pushing forward, so make sure to do the fire at wheel. Uh, I'm a little worried about you guys because they're going to have pretty good units on the walls. And if I can't push through on this, that might be a problem. Kind of put you guys over here. Start the battle, go there and there, and then you guys there and there. Um, actually, they don't have that many guys on the walls. That's good for us. That's very good for us. Okay, cataphracts group up, archers and everybody's already are grouped up. Please kind of run away to the city center. Let's see, please don't destroy my siege towers. These ones actually seem to be pretty well built. Okay, get onto the walls. Try and take these towers and these wall sections. Those touring cohorts already up there. I'm a little worried about these guys right here. Oh, if you're going to attack me like that, or just sit right there, that's perfect. Ah, uh, nope, you're running away. What about over here? Uh, they seem to be running away, actually, just to the city center. Is that what you guys are deciding to do? That's what it seems like. Ah, they're at least preventing from getting the gates right now. That's some auxilia there. You guys are finally up here. 
How are you guys doing so far over here? Wavering. They are kicking my ass. Oh my god. Uh, we need to just get in here. That unit's probably dead. Let's start trying to just get the Our gates open. Have the walls. Now the start capturing the towers. That one guy is honestly dead. Uh, you guys over here against the auxiliary are going to be fine. Yeah, there was that... Wow. Since the last time I looked, they took 14 casualties. Okay. At least the Auxilia you guys are winning against here. Everything else I'm a little worried about. Cataphrax, let's get you guys to charge in this urban, uh, urban cohort, please. Try and get through the gates if you can. So I can bring my pikemen in that way. There you go, Cataphrax. You should be able to make a push in here. There you go. God, I love that I can always rely on my Cataphrax. Uh, actually, no, no, okay. For a moment, I thought they were going to start beating you back, but no, you're good. Okay, so we now have the gatehouse, at least, under our control. Let's start bringing everybody else up here. What the hell is going on with you? Oh, I basically lost all my cat for that. Holy shit. Oof. Oh, damn it. This is the Praetorian cohort. Hmm, I don't like this. I've lo they've lost half of their army. Oh my god, have I lost a lot too. Uh, you guys are supposed to be walking up this way. Oh, they took the gates back! Shit! Um... Because you guys are gonna die. Yeah, those guys are just straight up dead. Okay, um... Well, I have to send one of my guys back up this way. Should I send my skirmishers, maybe? I'm gonna do that. I need my infantry. I'm gonna send you guys up onto the walls. Oh, this is not good. Okay, let's have you guys go up here. I'm gonna hope you guys can maybe take the gate. Oh my god, because look at this. So I've lost three, no, four full units so far in this assault. Ah, oh, that is painful. I've got six guys still. My cataphracts are still alive. They can't capture the gates from down here. So I'm gonna have them just kind of stand here. At least they're not being shot at, thank god. That one Praetorian cohort. Oh my god, you got a lot of kills. You got a ridiculous amount of kills. What are you doing? You just sneaking up on my dudes? <laughs> what the hell? Okay, please unload on them with your skirmisher fire. And hopefully kill them. Because right now, I can't send more... Ca I'll try and send one more of my pikemen up here. I can't lose anymore. Because so far, this has been a disaster of a battle. Like, we're still winning, technically. Oh, uh, no, my, my... Okay, you guys might be fine. You might be able to do this for me. Because those guys are broken. I need to take these ga gates. Start moving you guys forward. Start making your way to the gates. You guys need to start taking these walls. Go, go, go. Okay, then the most direct route for us is going to be uh, this path, honestly. So I don't need to take any towers besides this. I just need to get my guys inside. Because right now... Uh, I've lost a dangerous amount of dudes. But they don't have much left either. They've got uh, one Praetorian Cav, Urban Cohort, and an Urban Cohort. If I can get my pikes into the gates... And I can make sure that they actually are going to just hold the uh, alleys. We can still win this very easily. So let's try and get you guys up here. Because now, this is the area I have to kind of be a little careful about. Because they can charge through this spot right here. And I need to make sure they don't. So I'll try and send one guy forward. And I need to get them set up with their pikes. Because they have a lot of cavalry. And if I let them just freely charge me, they're going to slaughter me. So I need to slowly advance in here. I don't have much time. Okay, yes, charge me headlong. And then maybe try and attack my other guys. Okay, we're gonna kill a lot of them. Oh my god. Like, some of them actually can just straight up jump my pikes. Okay. Now that they've engaged that one unit, let's try and send another... Uh, yeah, let's try to send another guy up. We're gonna try and send one guy at a time, and then try and see if I can convince them to attack me back here. Because number-wise, they're dying rather nicely. Oh, uh, oh, 
We slaughtered that one guy. I'm losing so much infantry for this. Take your pikes back out, you idiots! Don't put your pikes away! Okay, I have at least four units left. They are at least in position. Yes, attack me, come on. There! The enemy general is slain, Good. And now his men fear okay. us. It is now time to we just have a little attack. bit more time to finish off what's left of them. So, let's advance forward, guys. Let's advance as the blob. I think we've got this now. Now that he's dead, they're breaking rather nicely. So, what I'm going to do is you line up here and here. And then uh, let's have you guys right. And it'll work properly. Eh. Come on. That's, yeah, there we go, that's what I want. So I want you guys to line up there and there. Uh, you have to attack them. Because I want to get my skirmishers into position where I can have them shoot these guys. Because as long as they're outside like this, then they'll break more easily with their general dead. But we have to kill them all quickly now, because they've only got a little bit of time left. General, you have to stay by nearby. Oh, come on. We don't have much time left here. Oh, there's five units trying to surround us now. Just advance into them. There you go. That's what I want to see. Uh, that's not what I want to see there. Gen I want Just get in the general. I want you to flank around, but I can't properly have you do so. I don't have time. I just need you to get in here and start killing. We've got 50 guys left, that's it. Come on, finish them off. Only a couple. There we go. Oh, that was close. That was close. This is why I hate that, like, my units are horrendous at attacking cities. Like, we are absolutely glorious on the field of battle where we can have them walk into my pikes. But if I have to assault a wall, because I can't use my, I can't use a ram to ever get to these cities. They always burn. There. How many guys did I, I actually kept all my guys. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to try, oh, I can actually get uh, armored elephants here. Already? Oh, yes. So if that's the case, I will start queuing up some of those dudes. Or train everybody else. But I'll start getting a bunch of armored elephants. They're not going to have max weapons and armor, but hey, I can grab them now that Carthage is under my control. Uh, let's see, where'd my... Uh, here's my glorified watchtower builder. I need to have you keep going around, my man. Keep going around, building out more watchtowers for us. There. There. There we go. But at least now Carthage can actually start gathering together a bunch of armored elephants for us. Uh, it's going to be a couple turns, but I can try and have you guys soon go for Lily Bayum. Uh, soon. Uh, you need to keep recruiting some more of the Phalanx Spikemen around here just for more garrison duty. I'm tempted to have you guys do that too, because I don't think I need this many around here. No, I don't. Okay, so I'll have you guys move up around this way. Try and get you guys out of Thapsis. Because if I can get you guys out of Thapsis, I can have you go and attack Sicily. I can try and have you guys do that for me. Uh, otherwise... You, yeah, I need the one more turn. And then resistance is futile, but we now at least have Carthage. We can end that turn, as most of my guys are now just trying to get in position. Hi, Broody Eye! Let us now talk reasonably. No, I'm not accepting Until that. Until next time. I have to kill you. That is just what has to happen. Actually, they did not even retaliate against me here. Perfect. I actually have time to bring all my guys together then. So we'll bring you guys over. What are the chances right now, actually? Oh, I barely finished that. Let's see what are the chances here. Can I just auto resolve this? Oh, wait. I, I had more guys that were making their way over here, anyways. So get over there. Although I could just starve them to death and just take my city back that way. I could try that. Uh, where is this? Oh, come on. Damn it. And then Siren actually grew. Good. Okay, let's queue that up before I forget. Oh, this army's ready. Um. Okay, these guys are gonna be a while. I'm gonna get you out of my way. Oh, I'm sure I lose a lot of my ships. I don't like that. Sit here for a second. I should be able to retrain these ships. Let's retrain these ships, and then I'm gonna try and have you guys go pick up those dudes. 
So while they can't pick you up, uh, keep making your way over here. Because I can have you guys, you are ready, I can have you drop off in Sicily. I just need to retrain my ships first, there'll be at least two turns there. You can now pick this guy up. Uh, I can't move them just yet, so I'll drop them off for Tarentum next turn. Croton! Uh, I think I've got a pretty good chance of taking you guys here. Yeah! I did do a decent amount of damage. Ah, uh, now we have to wait for the stupid agents. Oh, no, no, never mind. It was just those rebels. Okay. Croton is now ours. We now have some land. Oh, you guys don't have the infantry? Shit! Oh, it's damaged right now. That's what's going on. Okay, so get that, and then I need to get rid of their Temple of Mars. And let's get the one of Asclepios. I'll start trying to retrain you guys. I can't retrain my infantry immediately, which kind of sucks, but you'll be ready sooner rather than later. And then let's see... Uh, more of the peasants are getting ready. A lot of new family members, Jesus. What does our family tree look like? Seriously, we have such a large family tree. Let's see, I want to look at family tree. I really wish I could zoom out on this thing. Because this is huge! Can I not zoom out? No, there's like no way for me to zoom out because this family tree is fucking massive. Look at this! Look at this shit! I have so many people- my god, you guys don't know how to keep it in your pants. Can I actually- does it actually count up how many I have? No, it just tells me the generations. So we've got- we were on to our fifth generation of family members. That's fucking crazy. That you guys have so many dudes. Let's see, what do we need for more buildings? Damascus can get something. Um, get the better temple for sure. Get the better temple, and also, can you- you can get armored elephants here. Never mind. Fuck that temple. Uh, get the bear, no, the uh, cataphract thing first. Get the stables. Uh, you can upgrade your walls, I guess. Uh, let's see. Salamis. I want you to keep focusing on more on economy primarily. So let's go with that, that, and those. That works. Let's see. Thebes. Uh, yeah, focus those first. Grab those. Dumatha can't do anything. Nicomedia. Uh, get the better temple first. Go with that. And then I don't want to spend... I don't actually have that much more money. I've been spending a lot of my money. Uh, Serta, you just get the better temple. Don't queue up too many things, because otherwise you're not going to have the money for other things. Uh, you guys can't do anything here. Tingi, I think I'll have you guys... Is there anything else I can replace for the cultural penalty thing? No. Get the uh, academy, because you guys are going to have a lot of issues with law over there. You guys... Same deal, actually. Uh, get the better scriptorium. And then with Carthage specifically. You guys keep retraining your stuff. Keep doing that. Okay, and then you guys... Okay, we can end that turn. Because, um... Never mind. You guys can assault here. I forgot about that. Okay, so I can at least push into this settlement very easily. Keep pushing you guys back on this front. Train all those guys. And then this one is Temple of Juno. That technically goes to an Asclepius one. Uh, you know what? I'll keep it. Yeah, I'll keep it as that one. Keep doing that. And then actually try and queue up the better roads afterwards instead. Because the roads will help with the public order, um, just because of the cultural penalty. But then also just a bit more uh, faster movement. That'll be great for us. And then are you guys actually even doing much over here? Yes, no, not really. Okay. Then this guy... Do I have... Ready. Okay. Everybody around. Oh, hi there. I see you want to sally out. So be it. Come at me. It's more interesting when I can get you guys to attack me instead. Oh my god, you have a lot of generals. They have four generals here. Uh, one of which I thought was actually maybe their faction leader. No, faction heir. The faction heir is in here. Ooh, that's gonna be interesting. Okay, let us uh, repel these invaders. Yes, repel these invaders as I'm the one invading Italy. No, repel these Roman dogs. Actually, are there any better insults against the Romans instead of Roman dogs? I, I use that far too often. I can just say, hey, generic faction dogs, and it works out the best. Is there any better ones that I should possibly use? 
I could call them just fucking plebeians. Get out of here, fucking plebeians. I know my friend Angel loves calling people plebeians uh, when they're beneath his stature. Uh, but uh, let's see, so... Where are the reinforcements? So you guys drop those. Gotta get all of you guys grouped together. So pikes, I can bear... Okay, we're like right next to the edge. So you guys go here. Where are the reinforcements coming from? I can't see them. Let's get my skirmishers. Let's put you guys here. I like how we're kind of downhill. They primarily had a lot of infantry though, so I don't think it's going to matter too much. So I think we'll be fine. Cav kind of right here. Yeah, because where are there other? Where are the reinforcements? Are they actually coming from an area that makes sense for once? <laughs> Instead of like right behind me? Because they're not advancing on me so far. I just don't see anybody. Oh, there are the reinforcements, finally. So, I don't think I'm going to have to worry too much about this flank over here. I'm actually going to move some of you guys over here instead. Well, let say are they going to ignore that? No, I think they're trying to group up with their allies first, actually. That might be the case. Okay, if that's going to be what they're doing, then I'm going to move you guys a bit more this way. And then I'll have some of you... Just in case, kind of watching over this flank, over this corner. That cataphrast, let's bring you guys over here. But they're not advancing on me just yet. But all my guys are ready. All of you need to make sure you're on defensive stance and phalanx formation. Some of you weren't. And they're kind of grouped up in unison now. And overall, I do outnumber them. But they're not advancing on me just yet. Come on! You're the aggressors, guys! I might actually kind of maybe tease them with my skirmishers. Like, let's take you guys. You guys have pretty good range, and there's not that many of you. So let's go kind of try and... Try and annoy them. You might die. Otherwise, I might just get some free kills. We'll see. Because these guys are pretty weak anyways. I'm not going to lose much if I do lose these guys. But if you guys can actually kill a general, which so far you can't. So far, you are just tickling this man. With your stones and arrows. It is doing absolutely nothing, but so far you guys aren't, aren't actually fancying on me? I'm almost tempted, very tempted, to slowly move my force up to face them. But I technically don't need to, especially since I don't want to get near the towers. Give them an ample reason to just be able to freely shoot me. Guys, come on, you're the aggressors here. I've killed six guys. I've killed six so far. Well, actually, no, I killed a couple in the back, it looks like. Can we get lucky to actually kill the general? That'd be great. No? Okay. Well, once you guys run out of ammo, I might as well grab my other archers and do the same damn thing. Sure! <laughs> You're not gonna advance on me! Uh, why not? Let me just advance forward and just shoot you. They're not attacking my defensive position, so let me just keep trying to kill their generals. Are you gonna charge me now? I got more guys trying to kill your general. Like, you're facing me now, but... Nope, still not. Why are you just sitting here? You're literally waiting out the entire battle for this, guys. I might be able to at least kill one general. Come on! Oh, they're running! Oh god, no, no, run away! <laughs> run away! Damn it! This is what I get for having things on sped up speeds. Because that one unit, it fainted, finally attacked me. After, uh, damn it. So I didn't kill them, but uh, please, uh, get over here and attack me in melee. There we go. <laughs> Damn it. So, uh, my archers are easy to replace. Hey, hey, hey. What the fuck do you think you're doing? Actually, you stay there. You stay there. Let the cataphracts deal with him. Somebody else better be trying to flank around. Praetorian cohorts are doing a pretty good job now. I don't like how you guys do when it's a head-on fight. I'll have to try and charge around you guys. I'll kill this guy right here on the flank, and then I'll try and keep that momentum up. That's at least the guy that I did these kind of damage to. I don't like this. Number wise, how's it going? Oof, I lost a lot of guys. Okay, I'm actually have you turn. They're not attacking from this angle, so I'm actually gonna have you guys try and flank. So you kind of try and adjust your position. You guys, did you kill him? 
I don't know if he did. Go after this general's bodyguard too. Oh, stop riding, please. Who's breaking? Oh, it's you? Oh no, it's the guy who's in the corner. Try and advance into that guy. You guys too. Try and adjust and then attack this guy. Oh my god, guys. Yeah, once my guys are done killing you, I can bring you guys around and I should start being able to break these guys. Start trying to flank them. You guys go into this guy. You guys are trying to go into this guy. Keep that horn up. You guys do the same thing. They're not attacking over here. They're not trying to flank either. Cataphracts, you almost done here? Uh, almost? Yeah, there we go. Aha! There we go. This guy came back, so you guys kind of come around this way. I'm losing a lot of men. Okay. Cataphracts, go over this way. I need to get some charges in the flanks. Okay, move up. Come on, Cataphracts. You guys need to hurry up. As I do not like how things are going right now. Things are doing very poorly on the western left side. Oh my god, my cataphracts are so slow. And the one time the Romans are being goddamn threatening is all hell. Break these fuckers! I am not gonna lose this city to them. I'm. Oh, I'm trying to attack it. Come on. Those guys are shaking. Oh my god, most of my men have fucking broken. Oh my god. Am I gonna seriously lose one of my main attack forces here? Yeah, my. You just have no command, don't you? Ah, oh, son of a bitch. I might as well just get you killed almost. Oh my god. I killed the general, but my infantry is beat to hell. Uh, Number-wise, it's not that far off. Let's focus on the same unit. Damn it, dude! Oh my god. This is what I get for sending generals that have no command. Ah oh, man. So we're going to lose the assault up north. Simply because my general had horrendous command and wasn't able to hold his men's attention. We'll try and kill as many as we can, I guess. Can't... Uh, yeah, we'll have to send another army up here to try and take this. But for the most part... Well, thankfully that's exactly what happened, because he had so little command that he couldn't do anything. Damn, I only killed 500 guys? I killed one of their generals. Only one. Oh, that's painful. That's painful! That the Broody I were able to kick my ass that badly. Uh. <sighs> well, I did kind of say that I thought this video would be more of the preparations into... Let us now talk reasonably. Why was I at war with you? Yeah, oh, I don't thanks. want war. Um, the preparations in getting it into Italy, and it'll be in the next videos when we kind of finish things off, at least. That's what I kind of thought, at least. Because, can you guys leave here? My Lord. You also have yes, no command, too. My oh my god, please tell me you guys are happy. Yeah, you're happy enough. Okay. So, oh, I was not done yet here. I can maybe drop you off quickly. Ready. No. No, no, no. Ne one more turn. Then I'll try and drop you guys off over there. You keep making your way up here. And now I might have to actually build up a new army now that I lost there. Although we can just kind of focus more down on the southern sections. Because we don't have to kill off the Romans. Because right now, let's see. Uh, for my victory conditions, I need 50 regions and Rome. <laughs> so right now, literally taking Rome will get me my victory conditions. So that's all I have to do. So, I want to push in from the north, I really do, but technically it's not necessary. Technically, I do not need to advance from this section to actually win my campaign. So, that's fine, that actually works out in our favor that technically I'm just, for thematic purposes, we're trying to push in and deal as much damage as we can to the Romans. We only really need the city itself to complete our victory conditions, which that's just controlled by the SPQR. We did lose that one guy, which he had no command, didn't he? He had one command. He had one command. That was all. 
Like, who are some of my best ones overall for command? Man, some of my best generals are dead. I hate that. All of my, like, faction leaders have been at. Ah, oh, it's kind of a shame. Because at least I have, like, some guys with four. Ah, uh, it's not the best. Because can't I see? Yeah, I can see the command here. So if I just look at command... Oh, no. Okay, some of my guys that are leading full-stack armies are do have some decent command. Uh, some of them do not. Also, I do need to make sure that I move about some more of these guys. Because Jerusalem, you have some more men that need to go down this way. We've almost got all these guys ready. Okay, because right now, let's see. You just need the one Onager and one more dude, which I'll be over here. And then just retrain those guys. I'll soon be able to retrain all of you guys soon. And then I'll have two armies ready. Okay, that's not the worst. Antioch, you can start getting those armored elephants next turn. They won't have gold armor, but I'll at least have them. Okay, let's have you guys keep making your way down towards here. Also, I do need to grab all the guys that are in Salamis. Although, actually, I'm going to have you stop recruiting these guys. So I'm just going to disband those units. It's easier. Easier than trying to bring them all down that way. Uh, okay, because... Ooh, Tillis, why are you unhappy? Oh, distance to capital is actually one of the major issue. Oh, it's because of the squalor. Okay, lower the taxes for now. And we're trying to upgrade it, but it's still going to take a little bit until that's ready. Okay. I don't like that I lost that army. I really don't. Okay, but at least things next turn, you guys will be able to push up and start pushing into Sicily. And I'll build another army up there at some point. Our patience is limited. Oh, actually, no, I have to wait until I uh, take that city back. Which I should have almost everybody in position by now. Let me double check that. E yes, you guys just got here. And you guys, what are the chances you can easily just win this battle with an auto resolve? Uh, there we go. I was a little worried about there. And this was my city. I'm just going to occupy it. It was once under my control. I'm not going to destroy and slaughter my own people. There we go. Okay. And then right here. One of the armies is ready. One force of my peasant armies is ready to advance. I'll have you guys kind of sit near the port of Alexandria. And uh, these guys now need to start trying to retrain. So move those guys out. And then start retraining these guys, please. It's going to take a while. But now those guys are ready. You can start getting ready outside. You just need onagers, as do you. So there's five. This will be another sixth army. And then, do I have anybody else? I've got some peasants from down here. So you can kind of join up with those guys. So we've almost got six of them. Oh, here's a seventh. Seventh army. And then, I've got some more guys up here. Okay. Three for you, at least. And then, I've got some more guys in Sidon and Damascus I can send down as well. My lord! Go and there we go. So that should be technically the eighth. We just need to finish these armies, and we'll be good to go. So I'm actually gonna have it so that uh, Jerusalem, you don't need, you're not even recruiting anymore. Neither are you. Okay, perfect. Because I don't need you to recruit anymore. I'll have all the peasants. I'll grab will be from down in here, and then you guys. I do have enough movement to get up here right now. Awesome. Oh, uh, no, I don't technically. That makes things more difficult. Can I technically... No, I can't. Hmm. No, I can drop them off. Perfect. Okay, let's do a quick little battle here. Try and weaken their numbers around here and kind of soften our landing and get ready to expand into Sicily. Yeah, because no, next video should be the last one, and we should be able to have everything prepared for attacking Rome and taking it. And we're going to try and push up into Rome and Italy itself as much as possible, taking as much land as we can from them. But our main goal is just make a block, make a make a path, Today, make a path for, a for all of my goddamn uh, peasants, <laughs> so they can try and take Rome. We are men enough to do it. 
Uh, that's great. Yeah, let's get into this. Uh, chariots group up. Archers already grouped up. Oh, actually, you're not. There we go. Start the battle. The enemy have bought up And no they've got reinforcements right over here already. Alrighty then. Let's see. I should probably adjust you guys. Because you guys will try and adjust. Like, you guys go this way. Chariots, I'm going to have you honestly try and go kill those guys. Skirmishers, let's try and run you guys up over this way. Uh, my pikemen might not be in good position. I'll try and have you guys actually go here instead. You guys line up there. General right there. And then I think my chariots... They didn't have that many extra guys. Reinforcements. I only see one unit over here. It's just an auxilia. What's over here? I see... A urban cohort and a urban cohort. So, let's do this. One guy run here. One guy run here. I'm gonna have my chariots actually kind of run a little bit more like this. I'm gonna have my chariots try and kill that entire force. Uh, you guys are trying to get in position. Quickly now. I'm gonna try and have you guys run in position quickly. I'll have you guys get in phalanx formation afterwards, but just try and form up. They're gonna start throwing some stuff at you, but just kind of get in position quickly, 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 quickly. Let my skirmishers do their job there. There we go. Okay, now you guys go into phalanx formation. Uh, chariots? Uh, where did... Oh, that's the wrong well, Shit. You're supposed to be running over here and trying to help them. I was gonna try and attack from multiple flanks. Although this is the Overbring cohort. Come on, get over here. Barely lost any guys, but just a few more units would really help. There you go. Uh, get out of there. Oh, that's a general, actually. The enemy general is running away. This Perfect. Is no Kill him. Way for a leader to behave. Awesome. Battle, it is uh, are they trying to withdraw? The they are trying to withdraw. Slain, Damn it. And now his men fear us. No, get it back here and fight me, you cowards. I'm going to kill as many of them as I can. We got at least three units. I killed 400 guys. Hey, that's not the worst. Oh, we can actually now see the city off in the distance. The enemy army is in flight. Pursue uh, wasn't able to get that many of them. The Damn it. I was hoping we'd kind of kill off Where more of them. So but at least now we've got uh, a path to secure, the, or at least siege the settlement now. I'll have to bring my ships back down south because there's that army of legionnaires. I think what we'll do, technically, if the peasants can't take Rome, I'll have that army go in. I'll try and maybe give them an elephant or two. Because I want an elephant in the siege of Rome, damn it. Oh, you can't siege them yet. Damn it. Uh, you kind of go stand over there. And then, again, you guys are trying to retrain. Keep recruiting more of the armored elephants. Where did this guy go? Yes. Yeah, because I could have you kind of replace some of your dudes with some armored elephants. Yeah, because I could try and have you replace some of your dudes with armored elephants. That'd probably work out decently well. Okay, but I think... Let's do one more turn. And then I think I will be done for today. Because we've had some pretty disastrous battles in some regards, but some pretty decent ones in other, in other ways. So, we can now keep pushing into the southern tip of Italy. Uh, I still hate that we lost up here in Bat Batavium, but... Hey, the goal isn't to kill off the entire Roman families. It's just to push them back and get to... Oh, hi. Okay, I guess I will be leaving off with this battle. I'm going to try and fight this in the next video, where they've got quite a bit of infantry, but I think we should be better. You at least have one star. <laughs> at least one star of commitment. But I'm going to end this video for now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, maybe like, comment, and or subscribe. If you guys did not, please let me know why so I can try and improve. Also check out my Discord. It's a great way to interact with the rest of my community and get updates on videos. Additionally, there are plenty of other ways to continue to support my channel in the description, so you can check that out. But it's Rampant, and I'll see you guys next time.